To keep good public debate on the airwaves costs money. So please donate so we can keep bringing the issues that are of importance to you to the forefront. Sergio Caras is an immigration lawyer in Toronto, past chair of the Bar Association on Citizenship. He joins you right now because many commentators are talking about the fact that since 2015, Sergio, our rules have been blown apart. And I remember the rules when I was practicing that if we needed bricklayers, we would allow in bricklayers. If we needed tool and die makers, we'd bring in, but we just would not bring in people wholesale. Is that what's happening now? If you want to come to Canada, just come in. Well, the problem is that the government created a number of programs uh, several years ago that have grown out of control. And the exhibit one for that is the question of international students. Because international students graduate, they remain in Canada with a work permit, and then they apply for permanent residency. But there is no a distinction between an international student who's studying engineering or computer science or medicine, for example, and an international student who is studying uh, some sort of easy program Poetry. in a college. Uh, right. Uh, and this is an issue. And the government has now recognized that they have created a monster and they need to get a handle on this. But when someone comes here under a temporary permit, work permit or a student permit, does, do we have the mechanisms to find them if they don't leave the country when they should? No, <laughs> and that's the short answer. Because uh, CBSA is very strained, and they don't have the resources in order to go and find people around. And uh, right now, we have a situation that a lot of uh, people uh, whose visas have expired, right. in particular international students who ha did not manage to become residents, right. now uh, are making refugee claims, for example. They are being advised by unscrupulous individuals to make refugee claims, and they are remaining in the country. Uh, others are uh, so on the make, radar. They make a refugee claim. Um, tell me the facts about that, because it's not a claim that's heard three weeks later, and then you're either in or out. That's right. It might take three years or four years because there are more than 138,000 pending refugee claims at the Immigration wow. and Refugee Board, and that is unmanageable. So the hope is that the government will declare some kind of amnesty for them, uh, and uh, another a lot of people are banking on that. And it's probably a safe bet with this government because they, they simply don't have the machinery to deal with all those claims. And, uh, but politics and is king here, you know? I guess something to do with votes. <laughs> so really, I mean, I heard another uh, figure that over a million people in Canada, undocumented, government doesn't, doesn't know where they are. Well, the government doesn't really know the, the real figure. And that's uh, another problem that we have. But uh, it is uh, a very large number, and um, uh, they don't want to deport them, uh, even though they are deportable already. But uh, some of them will manage to stay. Some, some of them will not manage to stay. But um, it, it's impossible for the authorities to uh, force them out of the country. Sergio Caras, thank you very much. Three minutes. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.